The news broke like a thunderclap across the globe. Headlines screamed, Philippines hits trillion dollar mineral jackpot. For decades, the Philippines was known for its beaches and resilient people, but overnight its identity was transformed. A team of international and Filipino scientists confirmed the unthinkable, one of the largest, most concentrated mineral deposits in modern history. The data was verified, seismic scans double-checked, and core samples analyzed worldwide. The conclusion was inescapable. A treasure of unimaginable proportions lay beneath Luzon's mountains and the Philippine Rise seabed. The scale of the find sent shockwaves through global markets and governments. Suddenly, all eyes were on the Philippines. At a press conference in Manila, Dr. Aris de la Cruz, the lead geologist, described years of research and cutting-edge technology that led to the discovery. The result? A mineral reserve so rich it seemed like science fiction. The discovery promised to reshape not just the Philippine economy, but the global supply chain for generations. The atmosphere in the Philippines was electric. People gathered in city squares watching the news on public screens. Fishermen in remote villages listened on crackling radios. For a nation long accustomed to sending its citizens abroad for work, this was a paradigm shift. It was a promise of hope, of opportunity, of a future built at home. The discovery was more than just rock and metal, it was a symbol of newfound potential. It was a chance for the Philippines to finally take control of its own destiny. The weight of this moment was immense. The journey ahead would be difficult but for the first time in a long time the path forward seemed paved with incredible promise. The world watched as a new chapter in Philippine history began. The nation stood on the brink of transformation. The mineral jackpot was not just a discovery, it was a turning point. The Philippines was ready to step onto the world stage. The future, once uncertain, now shimmered with possibility. The story of struggle was about to become a story of triumph, and the world would never see the Philippines the same way again. One trillion dollars, more than double the nation's entire economy. The Philippines' GDP hovers around $400 billion, but this discovery dwarfs it. Experts say the true value could be even higher as global demand for these minerals soars. The deposit stretches across two massive zones deep within Luzon's Cordillera Mountains and beneath the Philippine Rise. The Cordillera Mountains, long home to indigenous communities, now hold a find on a scale never seen before. The Philippine Rise, a vast underwater plateau, is larger than Luzon itself and largely unexplored until now. Scientists estimate hundreds of millions of metric tons of high-grade ore, an unprecedented concentration. This is a super deposit, not a scattered collection of small veins. The richness of the ore means extraction will be more efficient and cost-effective than elsewhere. The trillion-dollar figure is just the raw value. The economic ripple effect will be even greater. New industries, infrastructure, and jobs will spring up around extraction and processing. The discovery is the foundation for a new diversified economy. This is not just a pile of money. It's a chance to build a future once unimaginable. The Philippines stands to become a global economic powerhouse. The numbers are staggering, but the real impact will be measured in lives transformed. The true value lies in the minerals themselves. Nickel, copper, and gold headline the list, critical for batteries, electronics, and finance. Silver and zinc add to the bounty, essential for solar panels, medical tech, and infrastructure. But the real game-changer vast reserves of rare earth elements. These 17 metals are the backbone of modern technology. Smartphones, wind turbines, electric vehicles, and advanced defense systems. For years, the world relied on a single country for rare earths. Now, the Philippines could change that. This discovery gives the nation strategic leverage in the global tech race. Without these minerals, the digital world and green energy revolution would stall. The Philippines now sits atop the elements that will power the future. This is more than a mineral find. It's a ticket to the center of the 21 st century economy. The world's most advanced industries now look to the Philippines. The nation's role in shaping the future has never been greater. For generations, poverty has shadowed the Philippines. This discovery offers a real chance to break that cycle for good. If managed wisely, mineral revenue could fund a complete transformation. Modern schools, world-class universities, and universal healthcare infrastructure could be overhauled. Typhoon-resistant housing, modern airports, high-speed rail and clean energy projects. A sovereign wealth fund could secure benefits for generations, investing in people in the future. The discovery is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to address historical inequalities. It's a chance to turn struggle into triumph. The possibilities are endless, but only if the nation invests strategically. The mineral wealth must be a foundation for justice, prosperity and resilience. 
The Philippines can build a future where every child has opportunity. The time to act is now. The immediate impact? A surge in economic growth and job creation. Mining operations will need tens of thousands of skilled workers, geologists, engineers, technicians. For the first time, overseas Filipino workers could have a reason to come home. Supporting industries, manufacturing, construction, logistics will boom, creating millions of indirect jobs. Foreign investment will pour in, bringing capital, technology, and expertise. The government can demand fair terms and local partnerships empowering Filipino entrepreneurs. The wealth generated will create new domestic markets and opportunities. This is not just about extracting resources, it's about unlocking human potential. The discovery marks the beginning of an economic renaissance. A new dawn for the Philippines is on the horizon. This discovery doesn't just change the Philippines, it changes the world. The nation becomes a major player in global geopolitics, supplying critical minerals to the US, China, and Europe. Washington sees a chance to diversify supply chains, Beijing faces a new competitor. The Philippines now holds leverage in its relationships with superpowers. The country can balance foreign policy, ensuring sovereignty while benefiting from global partnerships. The nation is now a strategic hub for 21 saint century resources. Its leaders have a stronger voice in international forums. The world's powers will listen, because they need what the Philippines has. This mineral wealth is not just economic power, it's geopolitical power. The Philippines' influence on the world stage has never been greater. The nation's choices now echo far beyond its shores. The promise is immense but the risks are real. Large-scale mining threatens the environment, mountains leveled, rivers polluted, ecosystems destroyed. The Cordillera deposits lie on indigenous ancestral lands, their rights and culture must be protected. Corruption is a constant danger. Resource wealth can fuel greed and inequality. If mismanaged, the nation could fall into the resource curse, with wealth benefiting only a few. Overdependence on mining could harm agriculture and manufacturing. Dutch disease is a real threat. The mineral wealth must be used to diversify the economy, not replace it. Investment in education, technology, and other industries is essential for sustainable growth. The discovery is a powerful engine, but it must drive a well-built, diversified vehicle. The path to prosperity demands vigilance, integrity, and care. The nation must learn from the mistakes of others. The future depends on wise stewardship. The stakes could not be higher. To realize the promise, the Philippines needs a new culture of governance. Every dollar from these minerals must be tracked and publicly disclosed. International standards like EIT must be enforced. No secret deals, no hidden contracts. Environmental justice is essential. Strict laws, real enforcement and severe penalties for polluters. Indigenous rights must be protected. Communities must be partners, not victims. Accountability is key. Leaders must answer for their decisions and independent institutions must oversee the wealth. Civil society, journalists and watchdogs must be empowered to guard the public trust. This is a test of national character. The government, business sector, and citizens must all commit to integrity. Building these systems is as challenging as extracting the minerals. Only transparency, justice, and accountability can turn this discovery into a blessing. The future of the nation depends on it. The Philippines stands at a historic crossroads. One path leads to the resource curse, the other, to sustainable prosperity and national pride. The choice will define the nation for a century. Leaders must rise above politics and ambition, planning for the long term with integrity. The Filipino people must become guardians of their own future, demanding transparency, justice, and accountability. This is a moment for unity and bayanihan, the spirit of community cooperation. The world is watching, investors, governments, and ordinary people await the outcome. Can the Philippines create a new model for managing resource wealth? Can it prove a resource-rich nation can be just, green, and prosperous? The story is just beginning. The Philippines has a chance to write a brilliant new chapter. The world is waiting to read it. The future is in the nation's hands.